Right guys, so it's that time. It is Super Rugby Final 2018. I have my Lions jersey on. I've got my Crusaders hat on. Uh, I'm a neutral for this one. Uh, I'm a Kiwi, so part of my support goes for the Crusaders, but I also love a good underdog story and I love new teams to win the title. So part of my heart's with the Lions. Uh, either way, I'm just hoping for a good game of rugby with this one. Uh, two teams with pretty different records over the course of the season. Obviously, the Crusaders were just out and above the best team uh, in the regular season. 14 wins and two losses highlights that. Uh, for the Lions, nine wins and seven losses wasn't quite as um, impressive as last season. But um, they still finished in a good enough position to get where they are today. Uh, they've met once this far, once so far this season. That was in week seven. The Crusaders took that one out in Johannesburg, 14 points to eight. Um, and to be honest, over the course of the season, the Crusaders had a pretty good time against South African opposition. They've beaten the Stormers, Bulls, uh, Lions, and the Sharks in the quarterfinal. For the Lions, not quite the same joy against the Kiwi teams. They lost to the Blues, Crusaders, Canes, and Highlanders. Um, so yeah, no luck so far for them against Kiwi teams if they're going to do it. Uh, this is their one last chance to, uh, to finally crack that one. Uh, I will put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look. There's not too many changes. Uh, Taufu is out for the Crusaders. That guy doesn't have very good luck. Um, he's missed out on All Black selection before, and he's missed out uh, on Super Rugby Final due to injury. So, um, yeah, Bedwell Curtis is in at six. Uh, he is the only guy in that Crusaders fullback who does not have an All Blacks cap to his name um, from the starting uh, side anyway. Uh, on the bench, Sam Anderson Heather may be getting a start. Some sites list him as the starting or the reserve hooker, and other sites have got him bracketed in with Andrew Makaleo. Either way, the guy's only played six minutes of Super Rugby this season, so uh, either Makaleo will come back perhaps not 100%, and Cody Taylor will probably play a whole lot of minutes, or Anderson Heather will play um, from the bench, and Cody Taylor will probably play a whole lot of minutes so if there's one position the crusaders do not want to get injured early on uh, it is hooker um, for the lions it's two changes so scosan starts on the left wing dianti uh, probably similar to makaleo uh, is under a bit of an injury cloud but he is listed on the bench perhaps not 100 percent. he did pass his fitness test though uh, and better news for them though kyle brink is back uh, he's in place of Lawrence erasmus so up until last week when he had a, a week off injured, uh, he has been in kind of scintillating form. So we will see how he goes. Uh, Quaker Smith will have a point to prove in this game, given that, I mean, they met in the final last year in Johannesburg and the Crusaders won that one 25-17. But obviously, one of the main talking points of that game was the red card to Quaker Smith. So uh, hopefully he doesn't let any of that cloud his kind of judgment during the game hopefully he doesn't do anything rash to try and make up for last year hopefully he just has a solid shift like last week because he was man of the match and put in a really good effort um, obviously Malcolm Marks uh, is the best hooker in the world probably so um, if the Crusaders were to get an injury to Cody Taylor him going up against the Crusaders fourth choice um, he might have a bit of a field day but either way that Crusaders fought back uh, is pretty solid so you'd think they'll be able to back up whoever comes in the Fords battle should be a really interesting one um, like I said Crusaders pack is just full of all blacks and the, the Lions have been able to out scrum and out maul so many teams this season uh, you got to think the Crusaders are one of the teams who are able to kind of match them in that department uh, there'll always be a question of the Lions defense this season uh, there's been a lot of games where it's looked kind of patchy and if there is one team that you do not want to have Apache defense against, it is the Crusaders. Even against teams with good defenses, they will just build 18 phases and score a try. So they're going to have to be on their game. Um, also, the starts. The Lions last week, guilty of letting in some early points. You don't want to be chasing uh, the Crusaders down in Christchurch. You feel like for this one, if the Lions are going to get a win, they're going to need to be at 100%. For the full 80. If they slip up, they're going to let the Crusaders just kind of run away with it. Um, the Lions have got an interesting sleep strategy. Obviously, the trip from Joburg is a pretty big one. It's a lot of time zones to cover. Uh, so I believe they are kind of keeping to Johannesburg time for this trip. So um, kind of 
not going to bed at New Zealand time, kind of staying up late, keep their body clock on South African time. It worked when they played the Waratahs early in the year in Sydney, so we'll see if it kind of has the same effect. But realistically, the Lions can play this one without a whole lot of pressure because I don't know that many people are tipping the Lions to win this one. It's pretty much all in favor of their Crusaders. The Crusaders' history at the ground, they haven't lost there in, in years. Um, South African team's record against New Zealand teams in New Zealand in playoff matches is not good. Uh, the Lions' record against New Zealand teams this season is not good. The Crusaders' record this season overall is just very good. So everything is against the Lions for this one. If they can win it, it would be one hell of an upset. Um, all I'm hoping for is a neutral. It's just a good game. Uh, if it is a blowout, I will be obviously a bit disappointed. I mean, Crusaders fans will be pretty happy, but... Um, yeah, Crusaders by 18 is what the bookies are saying, so they're picking it to be pretty one-sided. Um, the Crusaders are expected to win and win pretty well, so um, I can't imagine they're the kind of team that's just going to switch off. I don't know that they'll be reading too much into all the positive press about them, saying they're going to kind of walk it in. I think they'll be putting their heads down to get the job done. Um, Swiss the Brain made a few comments, I think, before they left South Africa, saying... Um, something about crusaders playing like flirting with the offside line that was kind of made into a pretty big thing over here by the new zealand media so um will that serve to put in kind of a seed of doubt into angus gardner's head maybe will that serve just to kind of pee off the the crusaders players and fire them up maybe um i don't know it'll be an interesting one i just hope the ref has a good game hopefully no red cards hopefully no kind of injuries that spoil the game hopefully it's just a, a good game of rugby which kind of you know keeps us all interested until the 80th minute or at least kind of for most of the game that would be ideal um but i guess we'll see how things go um it'd be nice for the crusaders to send off white crockett obviously with a win as he's retiring as a crusader it'd be nice for the lions to get their first title so either way uh, there'll be something to cheer for uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on the game and I'll talk to you after the game tomorrow. All right, see you later.